Well hello there, this is Cool Dude Clem here and today I'm going to do another video about my new animated cartoon show that I'm doing. Now, in the previous video about my new animated cartoon show, I don't really think I explain things well enough. I just sort of dive right in without really explaining anything. So, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Plus, for all of you Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop fans out there, I do have something for you as well. So, these are the two projects I've got lined up for Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. On this side, we've got Franken PC's original power supply, which just died on me one day. I went to turn the computer on, and it was completely dead. So, we're going to take a look in there and see what went wrong, and see if I can fix it. The other project is I'm finally going to get round to fixing this radio. And I think I might do those as a live stream because that way when I'm fixing them you can suggest things and I can try those out on the fly rather than making a video and then trying something you suggested. So this is what's been occupying so much of my time just lately. Now, as some of you know, I want to make a new animated show. Now, I've already done a preview of episode one and since then I have been working almost non-stop on all the drawings for episode 2, which is what you can see here. I'm almost done with this, I've got a couple of little bits to do. I haven't coloured this bit in here, and, and the pencil guidelines still need to be erased. But, I'm getting there. Now, I know that first episode was a little bit meh, but I've rewritten the script, I've made a few improvements to it without changing the plot, and I think episode 2 is going to be even better. So, episode 1 is going to be redone after I've done episode 2, and then they're both going to go up on YouTube. That is, however, after I get voice actors for the characters, which is what I'm going to get onto in a moment. The thing is, I recently have had an epiphany, or maybe a midlife crisis, one out of the two. The point is that I want to do something with my life, something that I'll be remembered for. And I'm not getting any younger here, and I want to do this before it's too late. So I've decided that because I used to like making cartoons, oh, that's what I want what to do happened? again. Now, like I said, I'm not getting rid of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. There will still be new episodes of that coming up. But I really want to focus more on doing this cartoon. But yeah. I don't really think I went into enough detail, you know, I just sort of dive right in without really explaining anything. So, anyway, this new cartoon that I'm making is going to be a sort of science fiction adventure kind of show. It's going to have all kinds of crazy adventures out in space, all kinds of futuristic and weird and wonderful gadgets. You know, if you've ever seen Red Dwarf or Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that's the sort of thing I'm going for. So this is going to be a comedy show, obviously. And sometimes the characters are going to come up with silly solutions for problems, like... I've got an idea where, in one episode, the universe is tearing itself apart, so they patch it together with sticky tape. You know, silly, but not too silly. I want to make something that people of all ages can enjoy. Not just the narrow demographic of seven-year-olds that cartoons are aimed at these days. So like I said, this is going to be mostly a comedy, but it's going to have its serious moments as well. Now, as for the style of animation I'm doing, I'm going to tell you straight up that this isn't going to be Disney quality or anything like that. With the resources I have, that is just simply impossible. However, it is going to be done in Flash, but the drawings are going to be hand-drawn on paper. You see... I prefer a more organic look over flash vector graphics. Plus, I cannot draw freehand on a computer to save my life. And even if I was to do this with nice, clean flash vector graphics, that would just take forever, you know, it would just take far too long. Plus, the feel never works. It only seems to work when it wants to. So hand-drawn pictures on paper, scanned into the computer it is. 
and that way I can manipulate them in Flash, and it's, you know, it's just a lot easier and better that way. The only downside to this is because of the way that Flash cuts the drawings, they do look a little bit rough around the edges, but then again, it makes it look more like cutout animation, which is what I was originally going for anyway. Now, although most of this is set in space, the first three episodes, or the first two and a half episodes, actually take place on Earth. This is where the first character we meet lives, and as the story unfolds, he makes a few friends, goes on a few adventures, and by the middle of episode three, they're going up to live in space, where they're going to have even more adventures. And obviously, we cannot have heroes without villains, so I'm planning to add a couple of villains onto the show. They're going to try to take over the universe and enslave other planets, and... I'm planning on one of them being all bossy and the other one being all whiny, you know. I haven't really got round to developing them yet, but they are in the works. And now getting to the point that I really want to make on this video, and that is, the only thing that is really holding me back from making this show is getting the voice actors. I've tried voicing all the characters myself and it's just impossible, you know, I'm just one guy. So I'm holding auditions for all the characters that I'm not going to voice myself. I'm going to put up links to a complete list of all the characters in the show. I also have all the scripts for the first few episodes already done, and I'm going to put those up as well. So if you want to read through those, then feel free to do so. It's all in PDF format, so you shouldn't have a problem viewing any of it. Now, so far, I do have a few people who have auditioned on the Behind the Voice Actors website, so I might have voice actors for a couple of them, but, you know, I would like to get as many auditions as possible, you know, so even if somebody has already auditioned for that character, I would still like to have your audition as well. That way, I can go through all the auditions and I can decide who is best for that particular character. So what I'm going to do now is go through a list of all the characters in the show, and if you're interested in voicing any of them, then let me know. You can get in touch with me via my email or YouTube PM. And as for auditioning, you could either audition on the Behind the Voice Actors website, a YouTube video, or even email me with your audition. Just one thing though, if you audition on YouTube and you don't want anybody else to see that video, that's absolutely fine, just so long as you set it to unlisted and give me the link so that I can see it. One other thing I must point out is that this is going to be a series. So, if you audition for a character who is going to be a regular character on the show, I will be getting in contact with you as and when each new episode is ready. Now, I don't have Facebook or Twitter or any of that social media stuff. I don't use it. So... If you want to get into contact with me, or I want to get into contact with you, it's going to have to be through email or YouTube PM. Anyway, with all that said, let's have a look through the characters. Okay, so, here we are with a list of characters. Now, some of the characters I'm going to voice myself, like this little guy right here. And I've also put myself in as a character. So there are some characters that I'm going to voice myself. There are some characters that I still need voice actors for. So I'm going to go over all the characters that I need voice actors for. So this is the first character we meet. Now, I know they've got kind of strange names, but I'm going to let you in on a little something here. A lot of this is inspired by dreams that I had. So in a way, you're seeing dreams that I had manifested as images on your computer right now. But anyway, like I was saying, getting kind of off track. So, anyway, his backstory is that he starts off thinking that he is an orphan living on Earth. He thinks he's an Earthling, but later on he finds his true identity. He finds out that he is a Star Kid, and Star Kids have superpowers. And even though he is as old as the universe itself, like it says here, like I've written here, he doesn't look or act a day over 13. 
So the kind of voice actor I'm looking for is someone who can sound around that age and speaks in a sort of laid-back voice like, yeah, man, this is, like, way cool. You know, that's the kind of voice I'm going for him. It's a bit of a hippie, really. And now we meet his sister. Again, someone who can sound about the same age, but, you know, well, obviously female. That's pretty much what I need for her. Okay, so, little red here. Now, he's very young, so... Somebody who can sound about, you know, like eight or nine, that sort of age. So yeah, if you can do a voice that sounds young and full of life, you know, full of energy, and uh, I think that would be a pretty good voice for him. That's the kind of voice I've got in mind anyway. And of course we've got me, Jane, and Ricky, which I'm going to voice myself. And then we've got the girl with the tape player. She only has a few lines and is only in one episode, but again, someone who can sound like a 13 or 12 or 13 year old girl, a lot of that sort of age, you know. And we've got the orphanage owner here. Obviously, he's an adult, so obviously an adult voice. And he's also quite stern as well. And finally, the last character I need a voice actor for, simply just known as Random Kid, because like a lot of the episode's specific characters, didn't really think it was important to give them a name. But, again, this is a character who only has a few lines, and is only in one episode, but just like the other characters, you know, I do need a voice for him. Just sort of like, you know, average kind of kid voice, you know? And of course, the other characters on from here are ones I'm going to voice myself, so... Yeah. So, if you are interested in voicing any of these characters that are open, then let me know. Like I said, you can send me your audition through email, you can make a private YouTube, well, not private YouTube video, because I can never watch those, but, you know, an unlisted YouTube video, as long as you send me the link, or, uh, you know, audition on that website. So, that's just about it for this video. Hope that shed a bit more light on the show I'm going to do. I'm looking forward to your additions, and that's just about it for now, so until next time, goodbye.